to move. You can go and kill him. Who caused him? Me. Because I have forced him to sleep. You go and break his shop. And still, I have, I have caused his items to be lost because he obeyed me and he, I have allowed you to disobey the law. That's how it works. So if we understand this, let's obey simple instructions. The military are here for you. When you look at the land space here, the Kusasis are more. So you see us engaging in your operations in your area more. We cannot like one group other than the other. Not what will motivate us to like one group. Nothing. And the issue here it has nothing to do with chieftaincy as far as we are concerned. The, the Minister of Defense was clear when it was, when we were coming here, that what is happening here is pure criminality and banditry. Pure criminality it has nothing to do with chieftaincy dispute. True. Because when I came here, I've gone to pay homage, I've greeted only one number. Today, if my commander calls me that one Zugran, zu, zu right? Yeah. Well, my commander calls me that, oh, I'm coming to visit you. I want to pay homage to the Wakunaba. I have one person. I have no doubt. There is no ambiguity as to who to go to. So as far as we, we are concerned, there's no chieftaincy issue here. It's in, in Boku that we have now, pure criminality and bandit. That is what the military are addressing. And let's take note. Look at our vicinities. Look at Burkina. Look at Togo. Look at the jihadists and terrorists happening there. When the soldier sees you with AK-47, like I told you, he has two, two seconds to determine whether you are a man pussy, kusasi, jihadist, terrorist, tal Taliban, all in two seconds, before which he can be dead. And he doesn't have the luxury of time. So he may kill you before he even knows that. Yeah, man push your, we can't even determine who is a man push your us. So we cannot be against you. We can't be for or against one group. In any case, when you are sleeping, you are sleeping in your community, and you wake up, and you see that some armed men were killed just behind your door, Won't you, shouldn't you be happy? You should be happy, because it means that those guys were coming after you. It is only in Boko that you keep armed men in the community, and the community are at arms against you. So it means that we know what is happening. We can't tell the truth for our fear of our own lives. Until we tell people the truth, let them know that, please, what we are doing is not good. I mean, let, me, let me end it here. Maybe the old elders will have something more to say. But we are here for you. You see, this one, when we even called the police and they came for their bodies, the comments, first comment that I heard. Hey, today we've got in this guy. It means they know them to be warriors. You see? Hello? But like I'm saying, I wasn't there. Yes. And Naba has spoken. Yes. So as far as this, this meeting is concerned, Naba is right. Okay. Finish. Thank you so much. Um, let's take it forward. Okay. Now going forward, we all agree that we will not carry weapons. That one is not even negotiable. The laws of Ghana says that don't carry weapon. And when me, I use my weapon that has been given to me legally, I use it illegitimately. The laws are there to deal with me. True. Yeah. So we won't carry weapons. Yeah. If you carry weapon, the soldier in the field knows what that weapon can do to him. And he will not wait to decide what to do, because he knows what to do already by his training. On very rare occasions, when you are carrying a weapon, he will arrest you, especially maybe the posture that you are carrying a weapon with, it doesn't pose a threat to him. Like I'm telling you, we don't enjoy killing. It's very difficult to kill. Very difficult to kill. I'm telling you, soldiers who, who are not even comfortable to kill a goat, to eat, because if you kill somebody without a reason, you yourself, you're a human being, you have conscience. We are just trained to do that. It's not something we love doing. You understand? We don't love killing. We don't enjoy killing. So let's take it out of our mind that the soldiers are here like murderers. We are like you. 
just that we are civilians in uniform giving the unpopular duty, unpopular task of taking the lives of criminals so that law-abiding citizens who have peace. That is all. Um, and in that same way, I want to... <laughs> I have heard threats, on audio threats, that uh, they want to attack the soldiers. That one, I know. We haven't reacted because I know that some of the audios, even the people who send the audios, they are even not in Ghana. They are outside the borders of Ghana, just through audios inside to... Uh, but if anybody is thinking of attacking the military, then me, I don't have any advice for him. Because then the problem, his problem is more spiritual. I can only pray for him. <laughs> if you want to attack the military who are here to protect you, I have no advice for you. I will pray for you. Because what is worrying you is more spiritual than physical. Because we don't have any side in this conflict. We are not parties to the conflict. I can tell you that if there is no firing in Boku, <laughs> look at this place, uh, Manga. Have you seen soldiers go there? They are, it's part of Boko. Manga. Uh, Bawega. 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 Do we go there? It is in Boko. We ask them. They enjoy their peace of mind because they respect curfew. There are no incidents. So if people in Sabongari behave like Manga and Bawega and those people, I can assure you that we may not even come to patrol here to even see who is breaking curfew, who is not. But when you wake up and you open your rifle, pa, 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 you are telling us that you are here. That is, that is it. If, go to, you are inviting us to come. I've cited three. Possum was one of our hotspots. We chase them, uh, now go to Possum. We don't go there again because they are complying. Binduri was not part. Because of the accident, now we have cut part of Binduri and added it to our stations. So you see, when you invite us, we will come. And military operations, it's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable for you, it's uncomfortable for the military. This thing I'm wearing is about 20 kg. It's uncomfortable on me. So you that, you are the receiving, you will be uncomfortable. Whether deliberately or not deliberately, you will be uncomfortable. So don't invite us into your community.